Hey everyone, on um, this next part I will be using Photoshop CC to edit this photo and um, I'll show you guys how to remove the chair and to add shadow and then do a final effect on it. So let's get started. Okay, so what I did, I brought the blank image and the image with the layer of me in it into the same one and what you're going to do is drag the layer of yourself onto the layer that doesn't have yourself. You're going to make sure the top you can lower the opacity because you want to make sure everything matches it up with the layer below. So you see here I'm rotating everything, moving things around, trying to get um, the images to match up correctly. And it doesn't have to be super on point because it gives you room to work with different things and everything like that. So yeah, so definitely just moving around and then bring the opacity back. And so now we're going to begin with masking. If you don't know what masking is, I'll put that in the description where you can learn a brief tutorial on that. And I'll upload a tutorial on how to mask in the future. And we're going to start by using the brush. I'm painting with the, um, uh, with the softer brush and opacity is at 100%. And um, I'm just going to brush a while and just do everything I can to remove the chair out and I see it brought the opacity back up so you can see more I'm gonna zoom in here and remove more of the shadow and the chair and stuff and you see this dark area and I'm gonna figure out ways to remove that um yeah so this part is like that tedious part just brushing everything away and um, just doing a sharpening part so you're gonna do this this part took me about hmm, I don't know price two three minutes because I made this one not as complicated and so this is gonna be like a quick rough draft just so you guys can get an idea of the brushing things away oops accidentally remember um with the masking you know black hides, white reveals, and yeah. At this point, um, I'm gonna bring the brush down to 60% because just like a basic getting rid of the color but still trying to keep the shadow on the wall definitely and stuff but just to blend it in with the background in the back and stuff so just using the brush here and you can see it's already looking better the only thing is the image looks flat because there's no shadow under the subject so we're going to eventually add a shadow in a little bit later and so right now i'm just going to do a little fine tuning here and there and i'll speed this part up a little bit Okay, now um, that we're done with that, I blended the merge the layers together, so neither one of them will move. And then you can tell my body's a little crooked. There's all different things you can do to make the walls proportionate. So I'm just rotating everything using the ruler for the lines here and there, just to get certain things straight. Um, using perspectives and uh, warping tools can help straighten it out, but I'm just gonna do a quick brief thing here with straighten out the walls, nothing too serious. And then I'm gonna crop getting rid of the soft box and some of the odd stuff out too as well. Okay, now I'm gonna make a new layer and then uh, bring in a shape I'm using a lip C shape um, and this is gonna be part of the shadow then I'm gonna drag it to match up with the shadow against the wall and as you can see it's we gotta get the shadows angle because of the lighting so I'm gonna tilt here a little bit and 
I'm going to use the blur. Oops, I'm going to use blur, Gasson blur. And we're going to rasterize the shape. And so now you see, and move the pop, the level to about there, where it matches up with the shadow that's on the wall. You can see it's still a little dark and it's still a little off, but we're going to fix that and lower the opacity a little bit. Then we're going to retransform and you bring it in a little bit more because my shadow's not that far. Then we're going to use perspective, bring it down a little bit. Yeah. That's pretty much it right there. And the next part, let's see, we're going to edit this in Lightroom now. Okay, now in Lightroom, this part is not a necessity. You can use any editing, photo editing pro, uh, program and everything like that. But I use Lightroom just to add more color. I like using Lightroom for editing more, a little bit more than Photoshop just for the overall picture. So I boosted up the clarity and the sharpness and you can honestly use any photo editing program to add what kind of filter or what kind of fill you want, adjusting the highlights, the shadows, the whiteness and everything like that and stuff. And you can make it go for a more realistic look or a more cartoony look, the more clarity and sharpness you add, I figure, or the more brightness, you know, um, the less realistic it looks sometimes so I want a more rich look to it and yeah and as you can see with the editing um, the scarf I messed up a little bit on that because it still looks flat and I it's probably the darkness or the layer above the empty layer that caused that and also, the, since the scarf is pointing down to, we want to add a little bit more dark shadow. So I'm using the brush in Lightroom to darken it since it's closer to the ground and everything compared to the shadows where my body is away from the ground. So you have to make sure you do understand a little bit of lighting as well to make this work. But I'm yeah, just going to do that and then blend it in a little bit. And yeah. That's pretty much about it, and you know, still playing with the settings. But that's pretty much the gist of it. That's like how I achieve this image. Um, if you have any questions, please ask away. Um, I'm still new at explaining tutorials and how my workflow goes, but hope this helped you. And again, later on this week, I'll actually do a tutorial on how to edit levitations easier, like levitation photography simple like tutorials so thank you for watching um be sure to share leave a comment like subscribe and hope you all have a nice day thanks